Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today, we'll put you into the realm of transportation, exploring various remarkable missions that were conducted to relocate mighty objects. So without further ado, let's roll. Let's begin this video by moving something really big. This is the Sea Monster, a 415-ton decommissioned oil platform that had been transformed into the UK's largest art installation. Mamoet used a 75-meter-long barge to transport it, which took almost five days. To land it safely on the beach, Mamoet experts conducted several pressure tests to ensure it would withstand weight. Using two 75-meter skid tracks, four beams, and push-pull units, they moved the top side across the barge deck onto Mamouette's elevated SPMTs. These SPMTs then transported it up to the beach near the Tropicana site, where a Lieber LR-1750 crane lifted it over a 4-meter seawall onto its foundation. Brace yourself for the largest lifting capacity telescopic boom crane, the XCC-2600. The famous Chinese machinery manufacturer XCMG has made it for the installation of wind turbines. This giant can crawl off-road and erect its telescopic boom as tall as 206 feet. Moreover, you can add a 360-foot-long wind jib to hoist a 173-ton weight to new heights. Let's have a look at the world's biggest salmon farm. Measuring 1,263 feet long and 195 feet wide, in 2020, it was towed to the deck of Boca Vanguard in a large operation with many people involved. Nordlax, the owner company of this farm, named it after the company's founder, Justin Albert. It produces 10,000 tons of salmon per year and can hold approximately 2 million salmon in 16 cages. Each cage has a diameter of 164 feet and a depth of 131 feet. Have you ever seen a 239 foot long bridge moving next to your home? Many witnessed this with their eyes when Felbermayer's engineers brought a 530 ton steel structure on two SPMTs, each with 32 axle lines. And it was previously raised to a height of 4 meters using a hydraulic jack and heavy-duty stacking system so that it could be loaded onto the self-propelled vehicle. Take a look at a massive turbine weighing 316.5 tons, transported by road to the Iraqi city of Sumanaya, which was located 1214.27 kilometers miles away from the Aykendarm port in Turkey. The 316.5-ton turbine holds the record for being the longest transported load of its weight using this configuration. The generator is mounted on a 25-axle Goldhofer THP SL configuration. The transported equipment was mechanically installed using the SBL 1100 hydraulic gantry. The high-capacity girder bridge, weighing 550 tons, allows for easier transportation of heavier loads on highways. Now in front of you is a ship-to-shore crane weighing 2,000 tons. An STS crane is a specialized crane used at container terminals to load and unload container ships. These cranes are big and strong, made to handle containerized cargo efficiently. Paraket has successfully installed two massive STS cranes, each weighing 2,000 tons, in a confined area. These cranes have been relocated to the port of Izmar, where they will be operational. Unlock the power of loading and unloading with the Lieber LPS 420E. This all-electric slewing crane is made for ports to offer a mission-free operation. 
The LPS 420E can handle up to 1200 tons per hour and reach ships up to Panamax class with its impressive 157 foot outreach. The crane has a special design that includes liquid cooled components with external heat exchangers. This design helps to prevent dust contamination, which is a big advantage for bulk handling operations. The crane's electric motors are synchronized, which allows for precise driving and improves efficiency. Thank you for moving forward with us and feel free to share your thoughts. Take a cursory look at how Wolf relocates house buildings for its customers. Using a combination of hydraulic jacks, steel beams, and a unified jacking system, the structure is lifted up from its foundation with precision. Once elevated, the house can either be held on jacks for foundation repair or placed on temporary supports. If relocation is needed, Wolf employs a system of dollies, which are essentially motorized platforms on wheels, to move the structure to its new location. Throughout the process, meticulous planning and state-of-the-art equipment ensure that the structure remains intact and is safely transported or elevated. Let's amaze onlookers by carrying a massive object like a Caterpillar 990 bucket loader through congested areas. C.R. Levesque Trucking, a transport company based in the heart of Massachusetts in the U.S., does such wonders every day. For such a venture, they rely on the Kenworth LW900, which is a heavy-duty truck built by another American company, Kenworth, and renowned for its long nose, conventional design. Next, we have the XCA 600L8, an all-terrain crane that has a maximum lifting capacity of 600 tons and a maximum boom length of 345 feet. It's designed to perform precision lifting tasks in various environments and conditions. Here, it's installing a 115-foot long and 25-foot diameter blending silo at the Huan Polypropylene plant. The crane is equipped with a powerful engine, a hydraulic system, a counterweight system, a safety system, and a smart control system. It can achieve high efficiency, stability, precision, and safety in lifting operations. It's also easy to transport and operate, with a maximum travel speed of 53 miles per hour and a maximum grade ability of 70%. Braheny Civil Engineering specializes in infrastructure projects like highways, bridges, drainage, and public spaces. One of their recent projects is the A45 Coventry Bridge installation. It's part of the new A45 grade separated junction for Coventry City Council. The project aims to help Hallam Land Management develop the eastern green area in the spring of 2024. The main bridge beams were installed over the A45 eastern green in Coventry on August 7th through the 9th, 2023. New steel structures limited and Ainscoff Crane Hire used a 550 ton lattice boom crane to lift two 80 ton braced pair beams into position. 
Watch this colossal structure that's 435 feet in height and 6,000 tons in weight. It's a ship to shore crane built by the famous German heavy equipment manufacturer Lieber. In 2022, they sent such three ship to shore cranes from Kerry, Ireland, and the port of New York and New Jersey. These cranes travel by road to the port of Fennet and then by sea to the Cobb for partial assembly. Their Atlantic crossing was aboard the specialized big lift bath and vessel. To safely pass under New York City's bridges, the cranes were lowered and the vessel's ballast tanks filled, ensuring they're at, their, at the right height. Impressively, they managed to clear the Bayonon Bridge with only 40 centimeters to spare. Upon docking at Meher Terminals, the cranes were completely assembled and were up and running within weeks. Get a glimpse of how Bascali's accomplished the mission of constructing a sizable port in Dukum Omen. The project involves dredging a new harbor basin and entrance channel to a depth of 18 meters. Additionally, they built a kilometer long quay hall, two 400 meter long jetties, and reclaimed land for a port platform. This included ground improvements and a four kilometer shore protection system. The Oman Liquid Bulk Berth Project achieved a remarkable safety milestone by completing 6.5 million man-hours without any lost time incidents. Check out this gigantic object lugging on SPMT trailers in the middle of a highway. The structure was 52 feet long, 57 feet tall, and weighed 70 tons. It had to be transported from Sky Hill Heavy Engineering to Sasol in Skakuna, South Africa. It took approximately three months to plan everything for this delivery. Several stakeholders were involved in planning this load, including the electricity company Elscom and the removal of road furniture and traffic lights. Check out this giant drilling rig, which is being hauled to the Kazan gas field in Oman's desert. The rig relocation involves disassembling the rig, loading it onto over 100 trucks and moving it over the desert, a process that takes about 10 days. The Kazan gas field is located in the Ad Dara Governorate, about 350 kilometers southwest of Muscat, and covers an area of about 3,950 kilometers. The field is characterized by tight reservoirs that require hydraulic factoring and hydrontal drilling to produce gas at commercial rates. Oriental Vehicles is a company that specializes in manufacturing tire-type girder dolly trailers. These trailers are specifically designed for transporting concrete beams or girders used in road and railway bridge construction. The company offers a range of girder dolly trailers with different payloads from 80 to 300 tons. The girder dolly trailers can be either self-propelled or towed by a tractor. They're equipped with a front steer system, a middle driving system, a hydraulic steering wheel, a brake system, and an anti-bumping design. The girder dolly trailers can support beams directly on the bridge direction machine and work together to span holes. The company states that their girder dolly trailers are safe, reliable, user-friendly, and cost-effective, with excellent stability. The company also offers personalized services for its customers.
The Slapner DB series low boy trailers are specifically designed to transport tracked equipment, such as drill rigs and bulldozers, using wheels. It saves time, fuel, and service costs by reducing track wear and tear and increasing equipment mobility. The DB series has models for carrying different weights and sizes of equipment. The DB80 can carry 80 tons of cargo. The Slepner DB series trailers can travel at speeds of 15 to 30 km per hour on site due to their tilting bed, small turning radius, and high clearance. The DB series trailers also have reliable brakes and safety features. Upgrade your mining machine transportation with the Slepner E series. The lineup consists of two main types of products, the E-Series transport modules for excavators and the DB-Series dozer and drill trailers. The E-Series transport modules for excavators are devices that allow excavators to drive onto a dolly and connect to a truck. This saves time, fuel, and service costs. It can handle excavators weighing between 30 and 570 tons and is suitable for various weather and terrain conditions. The DB-Series dozer and drill trailers are specifically designed to transport dozers and drills on wheels. This design improves machine mobility and efficiency while minimizing track wear and tear. These trailers can transport bulldozers weighing 40 to 120 tons and drills weighing 50 to 160 tons. Watch 350 methanol-powered trucks working at a mining site in Xinjiang. The truck name is XKT-136. XCMG developed it to offer a clean and renewable fuel for the mining industry. It has a dual-motor extended range power generation module and a dual-motor drive system, which allow it to operate continuously for 24 hours. Last but not least, we have the XCA-2000. This crane is perfect for installing wind turbines and other heavy loads at different construction sites and environments. Just a few months ago, it was used to erect a huge 4.65 MW wind turbine that was 145 meters tall. The XCA2000 is packed with advanced flexible boom technology, overlifting technology, and independent suspension, making it ideal for aerial work and transporting heavy loads. It can lift up to 2,000 tons and reach a height of 140 meters.